up, freaks? This is Steve Does, episode number six. You know, it's just tradition. I got to say my herbal life. I'm actually going to talk about some of that later on in the supplements and questions about supplements. So, you know, this is a live broadcast every week. Steve Does, live broadcast on health, fitness, training, nutrition, all peak freak style. Today, we're going to help you set some rules to guide you in your health, fitness, and weight loss journey. We're going to help you make a, a, have you make a pledge to yourself and demand a promise from the people around you to, to operate, so you can operate with a code to reach your fitness goals and your weight loss goals. Steve does usually about what, what are you struggling with in your weight loss, fitness, training, health, nutrition, and we answer your questions live here every single week. This week, do you, have, do, you have a, do you have a set of rules? You need to ask yourself these questions. Do you have a set of rules to guide your nutrition and your training and your life, a code that you live by? Do you make a pledge to yourself every day when it comes to your health and your nutrition? Do you make the people around you, the people that are, are supposedly there with you to help you, do you make them promise to support you and, and hold them to that and hold them accountable for holding you accountable? And then also we have questions about what pre-workouts are good, what food should I avoid for eating weight loss, and a few other questions we'll get to. So you know at Peak at peak Physique, we train different, we eat different, we act different, we are fucking different. We are Peak Freaks, and you're going to learn about our unique training systems to help you prepare for the evasion. Someone asked me, you do the Steve Says episodes on Tuesday, so what the hell's the difference? What does Steve does? What is it all about? So really, what, what Steve does is about. What is Steve does all about? Steve does can actually be called Peak Does, because I do as, as, as Peak does. You know, I just... Basically, we just all do this, are on the same type of program. So Steve Does is, is a live weekly episode for anyone struggling with, with getting results in your exercise program, your diet, or your weight loss journey. As I share with you my personal, in the trenches, unique, peak freak training systems, educational eating guidelines, and approach that, so that you know how to train, how to eat, how to lose weight, and how to get real results in the real world. So when it breaks down to it, that one sentence right there tells you exactly what Steve does is all about. And today, pull you, up, pull you up on here. If you have any questions, you can put them right here in the comments. We can get to them at the end. We have a couple of questions already that a few people sent in. I saw a couple right as I was, we were getting on, on the air here. A couple of other questions that came in. If we don't get to those, we'll get to them either later today I'll answer them or we will add them into next week's episode. So you're live here on my second screen to check it out, see what you have to say. If you have any questions, you can put them in there, add them in there as I take another sip of my herbal life. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So if you have any questions, you can put them there. I'm looking at you on my second screen, but we're gonna get rolling. So today, give you a quick breakdown of what, what it's about, what, what the show, what the Steve Does episode is about, and what we're gonna talk about today. So what what is what are we what am I talking about? About do you have a pledge or do you make the people around you promise? So I'm going to introduce to you today a couple of sets. You know we have our, our, our 15 core values at Peak Physique. I'm going to introduce you today our Peak Promise and our Peak Pledge. For the first time, I'm going to introduce, introduce this to you and I'll explain what, it all, what it's all about. So these Peak Promise and this Peak Pledge are multilateral agreements that you're having with yourself, with your fellow Peak Freaks, and then also with your Peak Coaches or if you're not in the area with your coach, wherever you are, and we'll even hold you accountable in our peak team because we are, we are out there, we're reaching out to the freaking world. So this is a, a multilateral agreement to, to take the same position and action on your state of health and your nutrition goals and your lifestyle and just your goals in general in life. But we're talking about today mainly about your health, your fitness, nutrition, your diet, and your weight loss goals. And... So first, I'm going to run through our core values. You already know we have our core values. That is the foundation of peak physique. Then I'm going to get into this, which is based. Core values is more on your mindset. That, that would be more like what we're talking about. And Steve says, but I'm going to run through that for you. We live and die by these beliefs. So core values. Number one is bring the fucking fire every second of every second. Number two is to service the fuck out of every person that comes to our doors. Be the highlight of their day. Treat them like gold. Number three, treat this gym with respect and honor like it's your house. Number four, treat everyone in this gym like family. This, like, this is their home where their weirdness and craziness is normal and fits in. Number five, have fun. Be crazy. Be real. Be yourself. Have a sense of humor. Make people laugh. Number six, results are important, but not as much as culture and experience. Number seven, 
communicate clearly and fully transparent. No fucking gossiping. Number eight, there's no such thing as a bad day in this gym. Leave your bullshit and drama at home. Number nine, lose your freaking ego. You can learn something positive and new from everyone you meet. Number 10, be a part of the team. Every single person relies on one another. Number 11, become a better version of yourself today than you were yesterday. Number 12, overpromise and overdeliver. Number 13, adapt and overcome. Overcome. Do not crumble under the pressure. Find the solutions, not the problems. Number 14, if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. And number 15, never make any excuses and never accept any. So that's our peak physique core values. We already know that. That's like at the center. That is our heart. That is, that is what we operate by. But today we're going to take that a step further. And for the first time, I'm going to introduce you to our peak promise and our peak pledge. Now, these are taking things to a next level. This is when we're talking about actually performing. So those core values, like I was just saying, is more like a Steve says kind of thing. We're going to get into this peak promise and peak pledge, which is more of a Steve does thing. This is how you need to do things and how you're going to operate and literally do it on a day-to-day basis in the gym. And it's going to be a peak, the peak promise first. The peak promise is from your peak coaches and team to you, the peak freak member, members out there locally or anyone else that's even just following us no more. This is our promise to you, our peak promise. It's broken up into three sections. It's we can, we will, and we are. And I'm going to run through these for you. We're going to print these up. They're going to be on the walls in, in the gym. These are for the first time I'm unveiling this to you freaks here on the Steve Does episode because this is about actually doing it. The core values is more about thinking about it, getting the mindset. This is like in the trenches actually doing the shit. So we can. This is the peak. This is the peak promise from the Peak Freak team to you, the Peak Freak members. And family. You are Peak Freak family. You're more than fucking members. You're a family. So we can. We can give you a guaranteed plan to succeed no matter what your goals. We can show you step by step what you will need to do. We can safely push you to levels you never knew existed. We can teach you all the tools that can change your life forever. And we can help you transform your mind, your body, and your life no matter what it takes. And we will. We will lead you by example. Walk in the walk like the tip of the fucking spear. We will support you twenty with 24-hour a day accountability. We will tell you exactly what to eat and what to avoid. We will side by side in the trenches with you at every stage of the process. We will be with you side by side every step of the process. And we will guide you to freaking victory. We are. We are here to serve and give you an amazing experience. To serve you and give you an amazing experience. We are your peak freak coaches, team, and family. We are your guide and we are your, and you are the hero. So that is the peak promise from me, from our peak freak team to you. That is our promise to you. And that is what we live by in every second of every session. Obviously guided by those core values that I read off first. If we're going to give up those, those are some deep fucking promises that we're making to you. That's some real deep shit that we're providing for you. And that's some shit right there that I just listed off. You will not find anywhere else more. Forget about another gym. Forget about another gym, or especially in the local area. Definitely not. But forget about even another gym in the world. I'm talking about you won't find those type of promises anywhere in the fucking world, in any kind of business or industry or even community or setting. You will not find promises like that. So if we're willing to, willing to make these promises just to help you stick to your nutrition, to train and bust your ass, train as hard as you can, to help you reach your health and fitness and nutrition goals, we're willing to make that promise to you. I need you to make this pledge, this peak freak pledge. It's called the peak pledge. Who out there, if I'm going to promise, make all those promises to you, who out there, I want to see it in the comments. If this is making sense to you, I want to see in the comments that you're willing to make this peak pledge. Who's going to make this peak pledge that I'm about to read off to you in a second? And just as it was we can... We will and we are. This peak pledge is coming from you to me and to the Peak Freak team. And this is I can, I will, and I am. It's coming from your side. So this is a a multilateral agreement. Like I said in the beginning, it's a mutual agreement. Who out there, put it in the comments, is willing to make this pledge as I take my sip. So I'm going to read off 
this peak pledge to. I just told you the peak promise. What me personally am promising you and the Peak Freak team are promising you. And now here is the peak pledge that I'm going to require that you pledge to me. So who is willing to pledge? Put it in there. Who's in? Who's in with this shit? Rose is in. Diane's in. Shmai is in. Who is in? Here is the peak pledge. This is what I need you to tell me. The peak pledge. This is for our Peak Freak members to the Peak Freak team, to each other, and most importantly to them fucking selves. This is what they need to do. I need you to say this in your head every fucking day. And this, these are going to be the answers to all of your questions. Really, there's no need for anything else once you make these pledges because there's nothing else in your fucking way. You're going to say, this is your pledge. I can. I can do a lot more than I ever imagined. I can make time to take care of myself every fucking day. I can be positive in any situation and ignore negativity. I can be me, have fun, and fit in. I can reach my ultimate dream body goal. These are your pledge to us. I will. I will respect myself and everyone else around me. I will put myself first as my highest fucking priority. I will push myself to my peak potential every single day. I will have nutritional discipline. I will become a better version of myself every fucking day. I am. I am worth it. I am a warrior. I am fucking awesome. And I am a peak freak. That is it. That is the pledge. That is the peak pledge. That is what I need coming from you every single fucking training session. That is the answer right there. That pledge. You stick true to that fucking pledge. That is the answer to all your fucking questions. In, in the, forget about just the gym, but also in life. But we're talking about the gym and training and weight loss and all these other questions you have about what should I do for this? I'm at a, I'm at a plateau. I, I can't lose weight or what do I choose this or that? These, this pledge is the answer to all your questions. And especially since it's supported with the support and accountability of the peak promise that I just made to you, it's an unbeatable fucking combination. It's unbeatable. Who's here? Who's here with me? Who else? Itza is here with us. I think we have some questions from Itza later coming up here. So you can play those back. Fuck that. I'm not going to play those back. I'm going to read all of these back to you again. Back to the peak. Not the, the core values. You've seen that. You talk about all the time. The peak promise from me, personally from me, and the peak freak team to you. I'm going to fly through these a second time. We can give you a guaranteed plan to succeed no matter what your goals. We can show you step by step what you will need to do. We can safely push you to levels that you never knew fucking existed. We can teach you all the tools that can change your life forever. We can help you to transform your mind, your body, no matter what it takes. We will. We will lead you by example, walk in the walk like the tip of the fucking spear. We will support you 24 hours a day with accountability. We will tell you exactly what to eat and what to avoid. We will be side by side with you in the trenches at every fucking stage of the process, and we will guide you to victory. Because we are. We are here to serve you and give you an amazing experience. We are your Peak Freak coaches, team, and freaking family. We are your guide, and you are the hero. And here's your Peak Pledge back to me, and I want you to fucking say wherever you are, yell this out loud with me right now. I don't give a shit. Yell this out loud with me. I don't give a fuck where you are. Your Peak Pledge from you to me. I just promised you now I need you to pledge back to me. I want you to say, I can. I can do a lot more than I ever imagined. I can make time for my, to take care of myself every freaking day. I can be positive in any situation and ignore, ne ignore negativity. I can be me, have fun, and fit in. I can reach my ultimate dream body goal. I will. I will respect myself and everyone else around me. I will put myself first as my highest priority. I will push myself to my peak potential. I will have nutritional fucking discipline. And I will become a better version of myself every fucking day. Because I am. I am worth it. I am a warrior. I am fucking awesome. And I am a peak freak. There it is right there. I gave you the peak core values. The peak promise from me to you. And the peak pledge from you to me. This is like unbreakable, unbeatable freaking path to success right here if you're in with me let me hear it you scream that shit out loud each you better be screaming that shit you're in the gym you better fucking scream it scream that shit 
This is going to be a, a regular thing. This is going to be all over the gym, just like you see our core values. This is going to be plastered all over the place. Now you got me all fired up. Now let's get into some of these questions you have that, that came in today. Daisy, does, Daisy, were you, were you yelling out your peak pledge, Daisy? Were you yelling out? Scream that shit. Scream that shit like everyone looks at you like you're crazy. There, you know you're fucking crazy. Just, just, you know, prove it to them. Just validate it. They already think you're crazy. Show them how fucking crazy you are. All right, so a couple of questions I got earlier today. You got me fucking sweating here. You got me sweating. This is some good shit here. This is what it's all about. All right, so one of the questions today was, what are some types of food? If you have any other questions too, put them in the comments there. Yes, Delandre, scream and scream like a crazy motherfucker. So questions today that came in earlier today. What are some types of foods beyond the obvious that I should try to avoid when I'm trying to lose weight? And you know, last week we just talked about the fruits. We're not going to go into fruit into detail, but definitely fruit is one of them. And if you don't know why or you think that's crazy, you could just look at last week's episode. We talked about fruit. But also, so to add to fruit, what else should you avoid? And, and, and my regular peak freaks are going to know that a lot of these answers. But beef. You want to avoid your beef. It's just heavy. It's so high in fat. It's going to make, it usually it takes so long to digest, makes you sluggish, lethargic, and you're not leaning out. I ask it all the time. What, what animal did you get your beef from? Obviously, a cow. So then the question is, have you ever seen a lean, athletic, energetic fucking cow? No. They are so, so lazy, they sleep standing up because it's just too much effort to lay the fuck down to go to sleep, you know? So they'll just sleep standing up. And we talk about that all the time. So beef is the first one. The next thing you want to avoid, for the most part, is dairy. Dairy. All the cheeses and, and all that other shit, butter, all that other stuff, it's going to be not help you tighten up, not help you really lose weight. The only dairy that we do put into the Peak Freak educational eating program is Greek yogurt and only the Oikos Triple Zero Black Label Greek yogurt only and low fat, low carb, and even if you can, low sodium cottage cheese. And for the, for the Greek yogurt, if you can even go plain on Greek yogurt, even better. It's going to be the same amount of protein, but less calories, less carbs. If you have the space for the carbs, you can go to the flavored Oikos Triple Zero. But Get away, stick away, stay away from the dairy. So just the, the low fat, low, low carb cottage cheese and the Greek yogurt, just the Oikos triple zero or the plain Greek yogurt, really the only dairies we're having. So what about milk? Why can't you have milk? What about low fat milk or skim milk? You know, the difference between those is all it is is less fat from whole milk is eight grams of fat. 2% milk is like five grams of fat. 1% milk is like two and a half grams of fat and skim milk is like zero fat, right? They all have, all have eight grams of protein, so they're all the same in the protein department, but they're already more fat than protein for most of them, except for the skim. But look at the carbs and the sugar. Whole milk, 12 grams of sugar. 2%, 12 grams of sugar. 1%, 12 grams of sugar. And skim milk, still 12 grams of fucking sugar. So you're still getting way too much sugar, still getting way too much carbs, way too much calories and fat if you weren't going with the skim. But even the skim is going to be too much calories and too much carbs, too much sugar. Avoid it if you need milk. The peak freaks know the answer. It is just the unsweetened almond milk or there's other ones, cashew milk and some other ones that you can get. As long as it's the 25 to 30 calorie, that's it. You really don't have much need for milk anyway because you're not eating any fucking cereal, right? But the other one maybe you're not thinking about that you shouldn't eat is nuts. Almost all nuts. I know it's supposed to be a healthy snack. It's a cool thing, a handful of almonds, right? Everyone says, oh, a handful of almonds. Motherfucker, who are you bullshitting? If you had, did eat almonds, you're not only eating a handful, okay? You're eating, you're just going to keep pecking on that shit. Because a handful of almonds is not going to do shit for you. That's not even going to hold you over to your next meal, probably. It's like, a, you, could, you could snort a freaking handful of almonds. That shit ain't going to do anything for you. A handful of almonds is what? Maybe 10, 12, maybe 14 almonds if they're smaller ones. Like those little 100-calorie packs you've seen on almonds, right? That 100-calorie pack probably has like 16 grams of fat. Maybe 6 grams, 7 grams of protein. There's really not any carbs in there, but it's just all fat in, a, in those little 100-calorie packets, right? And there's like three and a half freaking almonds in there. I always like to convert everything into egg whites. You convert that one pack. You know how many egg whites, egg whites that's equivalent to? Who knows how many egg whites is equivalent to? Yes, fuck that cheese. Fuck that cheese. You better be screaming. Yes, your coworkers think you're crazy. They thought you were crazy before you were screaming. Now you're just making sure that they know it for sure. So... 100 calorie pack of almonds, which has like three and a half almonds, is, is equal to four egg whites. Four egg whites is going to have zero fat, zero carbs, and 25, 24, 25 grams of protein, depending on the size of the egg. Usually six grams, five to six grams per egg white. Regular egg, usually six grams. 
the, the liquid stuff is five, whatever. Five to six grams per egg white, grams of protein. So what sounds like a better meal or, you know, to hold you over a little, a handful of fucking almonds, which has like 16 grams of fat, and maybe six grams of protein, or four freaking egg whites, four egg whites, which is no carbs, no fat, and 24 grams of freaking protein. So that was the, the top four to, to avoid that you're probably not thinking of. And this, we're talking about outside the obvious. That was the question because beyond the obvious, we're not going to go into all that bullshit, stuff like cake and pizza and all that bullshit. But, and bread, usually you're already thinking about. But the things you weren't thinking about were the fruits, the beef, the dairy, and the nuts to avoid if you're trying to lose weight. So those are the ones. The next question. The next question was, what about sugar substitute? such as Splenda, Equal, Stevia, Truvia, is it unlimited? Can you have unlimited of it? All right. Like anything in the world, it's a pretty simple question, but you know you're never going to get a simple answer. You know you're never going to get a, uh, that, that straightforward of an answer. There's always going to be some kind of twist to it. So like anything else, even though it's supposedly calorie-free and some of them are considered healthy and not healthy, like Splenda. Splenda first came out. It was like the new great thing because it wasn't sugar, right? Then two years ago, they're saying, oh, it's causing um, a mouse in, in Indonesia to grow a third fucking eyeball or some shit. Who knows? And blame it on Splenda. Is Splenda good or bad for you? That's not what I'm telling you. I'm, this isn't about... That stuff, decisions you're going to make on your own. There's studies, I'm sure, that could say it's fine. Studies that could say it's not. Who knows if Splenda even has anything to do with it? But equal Stevia, Truvia. So now it's Stevia. Stevia is supposed to be the, the newer, healthier one, right? All that stuff. And I'm sure a few years from now, they'll say, oh, Stevia is causing cancer or something. Who knows? But is it unlimited? Like anything else, even with stuff like this, go in moderation. Because you don't want to be relying on anything too much. Because then what happens when you're in a situation when you don't have your unlimited supply of fucking Splenda or Stevia or whatever else? And equal, like ones that have aspartame, those I already avoid. I don't know. I just stay away from certain things I'll just try to avoid. So like anything... Moderation. Go in moderation even in that stuff. Don't go overboard in it because, first of all, it's probably going to... Too much of anything will fucking kill you. Sit there with, a, with, a, with a, a gallon of milk and just keep drinking milk. See how that works out for you. Even a fucking container of ketchup. Or you know what else can actually kill you? If you drink too much water. You can die from freaking getting drunk off of water. Water intoxication. You can literally die from it because it's going to screw up the whole balance inside your body. The whole sodium, potassium, electrolyte balance. You can be overhydrated and actually die from drinking too much water. I'm not saying don't drink water. I'm just making the example. Too much of anything is no good. Plus, we don't want to rely on that shit. We don't want to become dependent on that shit where you need it and this and that. It comes to it. You want to drink, drink your coffee fucking black. Use anything in small amount, any of that stuff, small amounts, just to stay safe. From safe. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo anything. Freaking moderation. Don't overdo anything except your fucking enthusiasm and being a fucking freak. Overdo that shit. Overdo that shit. That's what you need to overdo. But these, the sugar substitutes, they say they're safe. They're not safe. I'm not here to tell you that. That's for you to decide your own whether it's safe or not safe. But like anything else, when it comes to nutrition, moderation, moderation, just put it where you need it. Don't fucking overdo it. Don't be, I guarantee you, no matter how safe any of those are, if you just had shitloads of it and fucking spoons and spoons and spoons in it, it's going to fuck you up. So just stay away from that. Just fucking put it in just enough to get done what you need to get done. Don't go crazy with it. So that's it. Moderation. The thing with stevia, I think, is supposed to be the best one because it doesn't raise your blood sugar. Like some of those other artificial sweeteners supposedly still raise your blood sugar. They have so many different studies on this stuff. And how much is too much? There's been studies on stevia recently about how much is too much. And first it was two, two milligrams per, per uh, pound of body weight or something. Or sorry, sorry, per kilogram of body weight. It was four milligram, two milligrams of stevia. Then they increased it. They said, oh, it's safe. Now you can go to four milligrams per kilogram Per body weight is is a good is a good level, but what the fuck? I mean, where? How did you possibly come up with that shit? Off a, a, compare it to a mouse. That's who knows. Don't overdo it. Is the point? Too much water will kill you. Probably too much stevia would fucking kill you. Too much ketchup will kill you. Too much of anything is gonna freaking kill you, for the most part. So don't go crazy with your with your artificial sweeteners and don't rely on them. Don't rely on taste. Don't rely on sweetness. Because then what happens? You have some shit that you can't have sweet. You're gonna be like, oh no, I don't want it. You're gonna go for the sweet shit. And then if your only option is some sweet shit that has sugar, you're gonna break because you don't have the you weren't have had that toughness and adversarial muscles in your fucking taste buds had not built up enough. When I first had a protein bar, like many, 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 many years ago, that shit, I mean, they used to be bad. They've increased the quality and taste of protein bars nowadays, but that shit used to taste like a rusty, dirty piece of 
fucking cardboard that someone wiped their ass with. But once you had them for a while and you ate them for a while, you just started getting used to them. Then it just became nothing. It became normal to you. You could just have them all the time. No problem. So build up your adversarial freaking taste buds to be able to handle this. You don't have to rely on sweeteners or stevia or sweet foods or the tasting foods. We're eating for fucking fuel, for energy, for results, for weight loss. You're eating to be a fucking badass. What else we got here? And the last question that we have right now was, would you please talk about a good pre-workout? I need to know the real ingredient to something that gives me a boost right in the morning. I want to come into the gym feeling almost high and fired up. She just wants to come in fucking high. I'm not totally, I'm not naturally that way. I'm working on the mental positivity, but that's just not enough. Drinking bang does not give me that crazy lift and energy I'm looking for. What else would you recommend? So you were on the right path when she said, I'm working on my mental positivity, but that's not enough. You need to make that enough, but then you sure you can supplement on top of that. But first you need to make sure that's enough. If it tells me right off the bat that you can't, you think you can't go to the next level without something and you fucking can, you can go to the next level in your head. First thing you need to do is change your state, change your fucking mental state. I'm talking about go to another state, another level in your head without that highness. Get yourself high without getting high. That basically sounds like you want to fucking snort some coke before you come into the class. Don't snort coke. Don't say I said you to snort coke before the class. But you can get mentally free. You can get into a mental state where you can elevate your level and come in with that state where you, if you could sit there I don't want to. I don't. Let, I don't say meditate. I just get. I call it just getting focused. I just get my. I call it getting my shit together, and just I envision of where I want to be, what I want to, how I want to perform, what I want to look look like, or how you want to operate. And this is on all levels, but we're talking about with your results and weight loss and performance, and in the gym, and it's all the stuff, other stuff. So, I'll literally close my eyes and see it, and picture it, and feel it, and do that. I'll do that every single fucking morning, every single night, and if I get a chance throughout the day, I'll do it at some time in the middle of the day. When I'm driving on the highway down the Palisades, I'll do that shit. Close my eyes and just fucking meditate. So don't do that either. No cocaine and no driving on the Palisades with your eyes closed. But I, w- I would literally do that and you will get into that mental state. You will learn how to trigger it that before you train, you fucking just unleash the motherfucking beast because you're already living as if you're already that person. You're living as if you already reached those goals. And this goes for anything. It's about seeing it and you're going to be on that automatic path towards it. But to give you a, a, a more real example, that's the first thing is you need to get into that mental state. And you can do that if you get focused enough. But you're crutching yourself by thinking you need this supplement to get there. Or that supplement. There's no magic pill to being a badass motherfucker. There is no magic pill. But the, the, the other things that lead to that is what you want to wake up with that fire? Go to sleep with a thinking positive thoughts. Do this right before you go to sleep. Do it right again right when you wake up. Get enough sleep so you're well rested. When you wake up, stay hydrated like a motherfucker. Water is the greatest performance enhancing supplement you could possibly have is fucking water. So that's the first thing, rest and hydration. And then changing your mental freaking state. Change your mental state. Seeing, living as if you're already that person, that fucking maniac, crazy freaking championship fighter or some shit and come in there like a beast when you're coming into your training sessions. I'm telling you, this shit works. It fucking works in your mind. You'll start living like it. You'll start living like you're that person already, even though you're not to where you want to be. Start living like it. And guess what? You will fucking be that person eventually. So that's what you need to do. Rest, hydration, get into the right mental state. I'm talking about next level fucking mental state, like high without getting high. Get yourself fucking high mentally is what you need to do. And if you're talking about actual supplements, since it's Steve does, I will tell you some actual things like pre-workouts I've done or tried. I like to go concoctions. I make concoctions like a motherfucker. I will never have just one supplement by itself. If it's like, say it's two workout, pre-workout mixes, I'll take a half of one and a half of another, put them together. I want the best of both worlds. So first, obviously I go with Herbalife, but then I'm going to show you the other ones I use. There's actually a pre-workout from Herbalife. I have it right here. It's prepared. It's okay. It's decent. I use it sometimes. I mix it. I'll take a little small portion of this and put it with my main pre-workouts. But in general, it's actually not my favorite one, this, this, this one from Herbalife. It's good. It's got a lot of great ingredients, but I just use it a little bit. It's a lot more expensive, so I use just a drop of that with the other ones. Then I have my Herbalife Herbal Tea Concentrate, get a little caffeine kick. I put just a portion of that. Then my Total Control Herbalife, which is also a boost. But the other ones from the store right now, the ones that I had... So you said the bang, but you're talking about the cans of bang. If you get the mix, I'm just saying I use. I'm not telling you to get You need to clear anything you want to, t- you want to take. That's your decision, just like that stevia and, and other shit. But the bang pre-workout mix, the actual powder, is different than the bang energy drink in the can. 
a lot of different uh, ingredients, a much more complex pre-workout. That one's like an energy drink. This is an actual pre-workout. So a much deeper list of ingredients. It's your decision. You want to take any of these. And another one I've been trying, which I seem to have liked, is pre-caged. So the things I look for in these, most of them have creatine. They have a little creatine, so you make sure you know that. It has creatine. They're obviously going to have caffeine. There are going to be some other ingredients that you're going to be looking for, stuff that's going to keep you hydrated, because hydration, water. All these pre-workout drinks nowadays, they come with stuff to keep you hydrated and balance your electrolytes and amino acids, because that's the real performance enhancers. And then the caffeine to give you that little boost, a little mental clarity, and whatever else. So it does have... They, all these things, they have like uh, what, the, the betaine and what, what else does this have in here? L-citrulline. They all have, and then your, your amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, valine. They all have that kind of stuff. So I'll mix a little bit of them. I'll make a concoction. I'll put a drop of that herbal green tea in there. I'll put a drop of the Herbalife Prepare pre-workout with a quarter serving of each of these. Shake that motherfucker up. Wash down one of my total controls with my vitamin C, and boom. There's a, a pre-workout concoction. So start... Start being a fucking chemist. Put on some goggles, a white apron, or at least that's what I do. If you're going to do it, you decide whether or not you want to do that or not. That's your choice. Make sure anything you're taking is clear with your doctor, all that other good shit. But one thing I do look for and avoid, the reason why I chose, there's only a few pre-workers that I'll I'll even try. In the ingredients, they're all going to have artificial colors. I mean, sorry, artificial flavors and natural flavors, but some artificial flavors. I will not get one that has artificial colors. That's just taking it to this next level, stupid, artificial, nasty fucking shit that has just been so studied and such bad studies on those of FD&C, yellow number six, yellow number 40, red lake 40. Like, what the fuck? It sounds like we're, it's a government, like, like test subject, t- test dummies. Like, that's basically they did us when we were in the Marine Corps. We were there. We were the government, you know, test sub dummy subjects in the Marine Corps. But that's what those artificial colors are. So this, the bang doesn't have them. This pre cage doesn't have them, and the Herbalife doesn't have those artificial colors. That's why that's the ones I'll use, and I'll fucking mix those together. And that's what I seem, seems to do it when I use it. I don't always use pre-workout, but I will. So try those out. Any other questions, you can put into the comments. I'll answer them personally, one by one. Or if you added questions after we came here online, I will go back and answer them. Or if there you know, are some bigger topics, we'll add them to next week's. Steve does. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm going to talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, put them in here. I will talk to you later. No excuses.